Hey friends, welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island tour video. This tour, like all the other ones, is also an incredibly unique one. If you're a fan of Studio Ghibli, you will absolutely appreciate the little details they put into this island. But the island isn't just a bunch of references, it also is just a beautiful modern Japanese village anyway. So you guys are really going to enjoy this one. And at the end of the video, we have a little Q&A with the island creator, so make sure you stick around for that afterwards. And if you guys like this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows to show it to other people, as well as hit the subscribe button with notifications so you don't miss any future episodes. And we have arrived on this beautiful island. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, they wrapped them up in presents? Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> that's taking it to a whole nother level. Let's open that. We got an old commoner's kimono. Oh, we got another kimono for me. A hey, perfect. We have a basket pack. <laughs> Love it. Oh, they're clapping for me. <laughs> and we have kimono sandals. I think I'm already wearing them. Oh, they just in a better color. And as usual, I forgot to do this at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to insert it in now, guys. And let's take a look at the map. This map is just such a pretty map. Just look at the dots everywhere. It's so pleasing to the eye and everything looks so organized. The houses in the bottom left corner. It's such an incredible use of space. And they actually, if you look carefully, guys, they have two characters and two houses. They also have Zucker. Look at that. That's so adorable. And also, I want to take a look at their passport. So here we go. Hello from the other world. That is an adorable picture. Look at her. She's all pumped up and showing how tough she is. <laughs> you can see her creator ID down there at the bottom. So if you guys want to actually get some of her custom designs, there you go caretaking scatterbrain <laughs> i feel that <laughs> i'm a bit of a scatterbrain myself hence why i'm recording this after the tour and then inserting it in earlier <laughs> also guys check out this town tune it's unbelievable so good right okay we're here in this modern island and i want to say that takoyaki thing is a thing of zucker and it actually uh it offends me a little bit i love zucker no don't do that to my boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have a gong. No, 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 no. Sorry, had to do that. <laughs> Our tour guide. <laughs> no. Okay, so we have this beautiful modern city here. And I've, I've seen a lot of posts on Reddit about sort of islands like this where they're like modern. But this one is done really, really well. And it's actually the first one I've ever visited. So I'm really excited to see their take on it. And so far, it's so great and lively. <laughs> I love the little touches here outside the houses. Really good use of space and the beaches. We've got pathing everywhere with beautiful music. We've got the sandcastle and a little island getaway here on the beaches. And then we come back here to the modern city. Again, look at the little laundry area. <laughs> Okay, that's where the legendary gong was. And back <laughs> to the very uh, traumatizing takoyaki stall right there. <laughs> oh, okay, we have this modern... It's kind of like a food area. I love it. Oh, look at that little dumpling area. <laughs> I wonder if these were custom made. These are just adorable. The little lanterns there. You know, the textures. And look at these. All these... uh. Sewer grates, they're decorated really well. And <laughs> the construction sign, perfect use of that. So we're going up to another level, and this is... I really like the levels here. Oh my gosh, no way! No way! <laughs> that is hilarious! We have Boutique Nook, because it's uh, French. The creator is French, but we have a 7-Eleven here. That is... <laughs> that's just amazing. <laughs> they really captured the essence of... Uh, Japan there, huh? <laughs> and we have the Able Sisters. Oh, and I love it. It's kind of like a, a dead end area here. I, I, I just love the fact that sometimes you need to have these, they're not dead ends because that makes it sound negative, but like you can lead the people into a nice area that's dedicated just to itself, right? And you can, ex oh wow, and control the experience. And this is really nice, a little stargazing area. Those little touches like I didn't even know you could put things on top of those shelves. But putting those stars on top is 
so nice. And I love the use of this workbench with the laptop. That's really interesting. Oh, we have a, their campsite up there. But we're taking a little secret path back here. Oh no, they're so fast. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that, guys. That's from, is that from Kiki's delivery service? I don't know. I might be completely wrong. Okay, and we have these bikes here. And, oh, is this like a market street? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, and the music is perfect. Oh, that's amazing. That's really amazing. We got the food stalls everywhere. Going off to the side here to a hidden off. Wow, this is a really nice, like, forest, bamboo forest area. Absolutely amazing. And again, the music really playing so nicely. Oh, look at that. We have the katana with the kimono stand right there. And what's here? Oh, we got to pay our respects. Pay our respects to this. I have like a little grave site here, like a shrine. Yes, bowing. I love these little backpack that she gave me. It's so cute. <laughs> wow, look at all the flowers up there too. I really like this. I really, really like this pathing. It's really nice. So we're passing the orchard right now? Yeah. Oh, it's like a forest. Look at those little, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, some people know what they are, but the little mushroom decals on the ground are so cute here. Got Lily of the Valley. So this is definitely a five-star island. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? What is this? It's like a train track. Guys, am I miss missing a very important reference here? Spirited away. Oh, I totally get it now. It's it's like the uh, the train that, that went on the water. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you guys want to submit your island for a tour like this, make sure you go to the video description and click the Google Forms link. Oh, these such charming references everywhere. And I'm probably missing so many more, honestly. But, uh, man, I gotta catch up on anime. You guys always roast me in the comments <laughs> when I don't know all of them. We got the really cool uh, surfing area here. Oh, there's the bottle. Oh, no. It, guys, pick up your bottles. It gives me anxiety. What if that's a DIY? What if that's, what if that's an Ironwood DIY, right? All right, so we're going back here through this lovely forest. Look at the... The log bench being used as like a fallen tree. Really nice. So what's this area? Oh, flexing right there with the gold roses right in our face. <laughs> so this is like a building. Oh, it is a building. Wow, that's really cool. This is like a beautiful restaurant. Wow, the use of space is absolutely incredible. So this is like a whole restaurant, is it, or is it a food court? No, it's definitely a restaurant. Just stunning. Oh, we got the kitchen here. <laughs> oh, wow. This is stellar. That's so nice. And you can see behind the piano over there, there was um, actually like decals on these panels, but it made it look like a door, like a double door, like the real entrance. That's really great. Look at little flower decals up there. All right. So, oh, I can see there's a little area to the right there, but they want to lead us up here. Wow, and we got a little space area with the beautiful moon there. <laughs> got the museum there. And this is, oh, just a relaxing place to like read a book. We have like the mini library there. We got the book here. Oh, it's so adorable. Again, the music making a really nice atmosphere. It creates a beautiful atmosphere having them placed around here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have the spacesuits and the moon in the background. That's actually really, really pretty at night now. Oh, oh, look, we can like squeeze past there. I've never seen someone utilize these um, northern kind of... What are these, like, rock piers? I don't know how to explain it very well, but they have this nice lounge area on this one and a little tiny area to walk between them. That's really great. Oh, an excavation site? That's so charming. <laughs> what is this? Wow, oh, it's like a mini museum kind of thing 
for all the beautiful butterflies and some flower species. Oh, we got the rocks organized. Kudos to anyone who does that sort of thing. The Viola... The... Wait. Vala Grim Hotel. Receptionist. Oh. Am I supposed to pick this up? Am I... Do I pick this up? You have more presents for me? Wait, really? Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Let's open it up. Straw hat? Okay. I'm probably going to be dressed up as one of the characters. And I'm not going to notice, guys. So we got Explorer shorts. And... Bold Aloha shirt. I think... Okay, guys, I'm definitely missing something here. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so well decorated. Oh, wow. It really looks like a hotel. And I love how they have the outfits there looking like actual um, bellhops or people trying to help you. Wow, this is just stunning. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're going to a chef's kitchen now, I think. So we're going off to the left. Yes, and we have the lovely kitchen. <laughs> wow, so full of detail. It's incredible. Absolute incredible detail here. Oh, they're transforming again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they have transformed and taken us back to the middle area. All right, we're back here in the main lobby and we're going to the north. Now, what surprises do they have for us up here? Oh, <laughs> a nice little lounge area. Oh, look at that. It's so nice. It's such a great use of space. Everything is fit so nicely. <laughs> Got the little deer above there. Oh, our, our tour guide has already left us. Oh, no. Oh, I just noticed, look at the little slippers there. <laughs> little things it's that you don't notice on the first pass sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's a bathroom. Oh, no, it's not. This is like a hotel room. Wow. This is so great. How do they fit all this stuff in here? That's amazing. <laughs> we got the little maid outfit there. I love it. Got the ring there on the table. I love their outfits. They're so cute. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going upstairs. And we have... Oh, another great use of space. They fit two bedrooms and a bathroom into one upstairs area. This is amazing. <laughs> we got the luggage here. We got the bellhop outfit right there. And we have a vacuum. <laughs> this is so lovely. <laughs> Great job. And again, this is something I didn't even know you could do. Our tour guide has run off, but look at that. <laughs> so you can put things on top of really tall, like, shelves and cabinets like that. I didn't know you could do that. All right, so now we're going downstairs. And we have this amazing beach area. Oh, we even got the beach shower stalls. <laughs> Got the little guy behind there, giving us some coconut juice. Got the change room and the sand castle right in the middle. So perfect. <laughs> oh, so nice. I really feel like I'm in a little, my own little tropical paradise here, and I'm perfectly dressed for it. <laughs> All right, that was it for the Valagrim Hotel. Oh, Kiki's delivery service. Kiki. Oh, the outfit's amazing. <laughs> That's so adorable. Wow. And now we have this really nice outdoor lounge area kind of to hang out to play. It feels like such a fun island. Such a fun island with so many cute references. We got a live band right there. Got a DJ's booth. <laughs> All the tiki torches really well used. The use of the tiki torches is amazing. It just this island feels lived in you know what i mean guys it really feels like people live here and it's living and breathing and this is the campsite we saw earlier yeah they have a little campsite there with a picnic area and a board game oh wow this really feels like a campsite the terrain has changed to dirt and the log uh fences right there oh we gotta go catch up 
And now we're going to do some really fun jumping. Oh, and this must be their actual house. So now we're here at their actual house. And look at this area outside, guys. It is just stunning. I wonder what awaits us inside. Oh. Wait. Oh, wait, no, I've seen this. That That's the... Oh, I forget all the names, but that's a fire. I've seen so many compilations of cooking food with Studio Ghibli, and they feed that fire food, right? Oh, that's <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> we have all the characters here. Oh my goodness. I gotta brush up on my Studio Ghibli now. I'm feeling so nostalgic. Oh man. <laughs> and up here we have this... Oh my goodness, that song is amazing. Hey. I gotta figure out what song that is, but this is a really awesome, like, kitchen diner area. That's so nice. Yeah, that song is bopping, guys. This song is bopping. <laughs> oh, right, we're back in this really amazing area, and I realize I didn't show what's above the door. Just more gears and stuff like that, an old phone. Now we're going to the left and, oh, look at this. This is just so exquisite. I love the use of the different bamboo items. Like it makes the speaker completely hidden and fits in perfectly. Oh wait, this is a bamboo doll, right? Yep. <laughs> Gotta do it every time. <laughs> Gotta do it every single time that I see one. We got the straw backpack up there, <laughs> just like the one they gave me. All right, now we're going to the right. And we have, oh, Kiki, <laughs> the cake for Kiki, the bakery. Oh, wow, look at the cakes. <laughs> oh, wow, look at the shelving and stuff. And look at this. This is, this is what I was mentioning earlier. It looks like a door. What a brilliant brilliant use of these panels i gotta say oh we have the picture of the kitty there <laughs> wow such a charming island what great design and ideas honestly all right and now we're down to the basement oh this is the uh what is it the uh the boiler room in spirited away i think this is the first one i actually recognized <laughs> right away <laughs> <laughs> don't go easy on me in the comments but <laughs> i'm sure you guys can appreciate this even more than i can and what you can put pillows on top of more pillows i am i don't even know what to say i did th <laughs> this is so great oh look at all the yep these storage containers over on the side i remember this oh this is so amazing guys <laughs> All right, and now we're going upstairs. So we're upstairs. Oh, wow. Look at the pictures above there. All the custom artwork. And they have this beautiful bedroom. Star themed. And their favorite villagers on the wall. Oh, wow. This is just lovely. This is so well done. Absolute stunning house. Look at the star chart there and the moon. Them sitting on it too is just the most adorable thing ever. Alright, we left that magnificent house. House number two there. This is what we saw from this downtown area. Oh, that's why. See, look, the tour guide always knows best. And that's why I love it when the creator of the islands give me the tour. Because they know exactly how to give me the best experience possible. Wow. This is so unbelievable. And we're back here at the beginning. Let's give them a round of applause. That was such a great tour. What a great tour guide, too. And I see another gong at the last second. There we go, to finish off the video. <laughs> Alright, and now it's time for the interview portion of the video. Whenever I do a tour, I give them two options. One, they can do an interview over Discord, or number two, they can write the answers out and I will read them aloud. And my first question, as always, was, 
Tell us a bit about yourself. Well, my name is Victoria. I'm 23 years old and I live in France. This is why I prefer to write the interview so as not to hear my bad accent. And no, my accent in English is not pleasant to hear. <laughs> How much time did you spend on your island? Well, I spent around 480 hours on my island because I actually did it twice. The first time, I didn't really know what to terraform, and then after a burst of courage put almost my entire island flat. Even today, I still want to change the theme of my island to something a bit more scary or horror-like, if I eventually have the time and faith to change everything. What made you decide on this theme? Well, at first, I hadn't planned on making a Ghibli-themed house. I first wanted to make the outfits of certain characters because I really appreciate and like them, and then I wanted to make a house in the theme of Ghibli, because I had never seen a house with that kind of theme, or at least it was very rare. So I started to review the films and try to reproduce certain pieces, and then the ideas slowly came over time. You had so many custom designs. Which ones did you create yourself, and which did you find? So for the custom patterns, I reproduced the costumes of the characters, the paintings found in the house with uh, Gigi, Calcifer, Haku, and the basement wall, as well as some panels for the hotel, the museum, the train rails, and finally some patterns of the stalls. What would you say is your favorite area? My favorite area on my island is the small market opposite the town hall where the small stalls are. I noticed you made use of small areas really well. I was impressed. Did you find fitting everything in a struggle? So, I'm a very finicky person on the details. <laughs> the hardest thing for me was to imagine a future place where everything would be flat. Once I have determined the spaces I wanted to build in, furnishing the place for me is probably the simplest part of it all. Do you have any social media where people can follow you? I have a Twitter page, but I don't really use it much. <laughs> but I'll still give a link just in case someone wants to visit my island. And last but not least, do you have any tips for people who want to do a movie or anime-themed island like yours? Well, I don't really have any good advice for people who want to make a film-themed island. You kind of just have to have fun and do what you love on your island. Almost nothing is impossible on Animal Crossing New Horizons because of the, the new pattern tools and all the possibilities it offers us. And they ended it off by saying, thank you very much for coming to my island. Well, thank you very much, Victoria. I really appreciated that amazing tour you gave me and the details you put into everything. Those, those custom designs were really something special. And that's it for this video, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can support me a little bit more. And if you want to join our amazing, fast-growing Discord community, make sure to check the video description below and click the Discord invite link. And right below that link, you will find a Google Forms link. And if you follow that link, you'll be able to submit your island for a tour just like this one. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video.